This week marks one year since Chicago police officer Andres Vasquez Lasso was shot and killed in the line of duty. It happened on March 1st in the Gage Park neighborhood. Today, family and friends gathered to honor his memory with a street naming ceremony. RV Wynn has more. A day of honor and remembrance on the city's southwest side. People in the community paying tribute to the life of fallen Chicago police officer Andres Vasquez Lasso. When he stepped up, he stepped up to a duty that most people would never step up to. A veteran on the force for more than four years, the 32-year-old officer made the ultimate sacrifice. His love for our city, his neighbors, and his family was greater than any hesitations or greater than any fear. His family, friends, and fellow brothers and sisters in blue came together this afternoon in West Lawn. They gathered at the corner of Lawndale Avenue and Marquette Road for a street sign dedication to commemorate his life. Let this sign stand as a reminder of the person that he was, a reminder of the lives he saved, and the lives that he changed. Friday marked the one-year anniversary of his death. The officer ran towards danger that tragic day, responding to a domestic call in Gage Park. It's something that should never be forgotten, especially this week when we are reliving the heroic accounts of not only Carlos, but Josh Bloss and Ella French trying to make a difference for the citizens of this city. His loved ones say his bravery and sacrifice will never be forgotten and that his character and passion for a better and safer city is something they'll carry on. God wanted me to return him that day. I know I returned him, but he left a great message and I hope we continue and won't let us forget it. It doesn't get easy as time goes on. A reminder of what the men and women of the Chicago Police Department have to go through each and every single day. Reporting in West Lawn, V1, NBC5 News.